John Kennedy, well, let's see, 1960 was, what, 52 years ago, right now, essentially, gave a speech in which he made this, I'm just going to play this brief comment, he, he built this whole, you know, all these arguments about we need to do housing and we need to do education and we need to do, you know, we need to care for the, for the weak and the poor among us and all these things, and then he, and then he, he punctuated it with this comment. Bigger. I believe for these reasons that liberalism is our best and our only hope in the world today. There you go. That was John Kennedy running for office in 1960, proudly declaring himself as a liberal. When I hear John Kennedy, one of the people I think of is Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky. Congresswoman Schakowsky so ably represents the 9th District of Illinois and holds the values, the traditional values of progressives and liberals so well and does such a marvelous job. She is with us live from the DNC. Uh, Congresswoman Schakowsky, uh, and I should say her website is uh, schakowsky.house.gov. It's so great to have you back with us. Thanks for Tom, joining I'm us. I'm so flattered. Thank you. I really appreciate your kind words. You are, you are genuinely, I mean, I, I don't say this to, you are genuinely one of the finest people in Congress. I, I, so, Eddie, let's talk about student loans and rising tuition. This sure. is a real crisis right now. Well, you know, the student loan debt now exceeds all credit card debt, which I find absolutely astonishing about a trillion dollars. And that is such a barrier for our, our young people to take their rightful place in this 21st century as leaders in our country because they're so saddled down in debt. And it also limits their choices. It means, you know, can I really go into public service? Is that going to be uh, a career in, in my life? Can I give back to my community? Can I do Teach for America? I, I don't know because I've got this this big debt. We do have legislation that would um, actually make sure that all that debt is not bank debt, but rather the government, you know, that they owe it to the government at lower interest rates and that it's only for 10 years and it's only for 10, well, 10% 10 of your income for 10 years. And if there's still debt remaining, then it would be forgiven. So we have sensible ways to encourage college participation and, uh, you know, make sure the kids get what they what they need without being having lifelong debt. Yeah, don't even even and and that's a marvelous first step, and it's one that the Republicans have been blocking for for years right. and years and years. Don't we need to go a step beyond that though, and have you know the equivalent of a new GI Bill, or do like so many European countries do? Uh, I believe that Israel does. I may be wrong on this, but I, I believe so. Um, if you give a year of service to your country, whether it's in the military or working for nonprofits, uh, in exchange for that, we'll give you free college education. Some you variation know, I, on that. I agree with that, but I do want to inject a warning here. The GI Bill is being exploited by scammers right now who are who see this pot of money and are going after um, veterans as they come back, often young veterans who don't have a lot of experience with borrowing, et cetera, and financial matters. And these can be institutions that do not have, they're really not accredited, have a terrible record of and giving job placement institutions where very few of the students actually graduate, but they end up not only with losing the money from their GI Bill, but end up with debt on top of that. Mm -hmm. This is not um, just a couple, but it's a few, uh, it's many of the, not many, but it's, it's enough, too many, of the for-profit institutions that are absolute targeting um, our, our GIs. So look out for that, G, yeah. uh, you, you know, veterans. It's really important. Yeah, it is. And, and uh, that and the... Now, uh, President Obama did uh, successfully sign legislation stopping some of the uh, the payday loan scams that were being hit by vet... Uh, that were hitting veterans so hard, didn't he? Or we was did that... also manage to make sure that student loan debt on the Stafford loans does not double um, the, re the Republicans had to be really dragged into supporting that, uh, that legislation, but we finally did get it done before right. our August recess. Right. What are your thoughts, Congresswoman Schakowsky, on, mm -hmm. on uh, you know, the DNC so far, on Bill Clinton's speech last night, on, on any, you know, pick your, your choice. So what have well, you heard that's really pushed your buttons, that's gotten well, you have, really excited? I have to tell you, you know, sitting on that floor through, through most of the speeches, I just keep thinking, well, this cannot be topped. There's going to, um, you know, so, someone's going to underperform, and yet it hasn't happened at all. 
I mean, everybody, I believe, that I've heard has exceeded my expectations and given a different message. And the, the one thing about the messages, the Lily Ledbetter, the Sandra Fluke, the young mother whose child has a congenital heart um, ailment, the, the, the union members who um, and workers who lost their jobs because of, uh, of Bain, um, these, the authenticity of those statements and the the resonance they have. Oh, and the and the dreamers that the dreamer who spoke, um, it, you know, leading up to these amazing stars like Michelle Obama, and then and then Bill Clinton. It's it's just been absolutely extraordinary um, in getting. I think the 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 theme of this. Uh, Democratic Party and the choices that are to be made, you know, are we all in this together? Are we all in this uh, alone? Do, are we, am I my brother's keeper? Right. Sister Simone, none on the bus. Yep. Uh, you know, how, how amazing was that? Yep. Um, so I, I've just been so proud. Um, and, and, you know, sometimes you think, oh, if only so-and-so would have said this or that, and boy, if I were writing that speech. Well, I can't, I haven't felt that one single time this convention. I'm always proud and excited. My, my friend Tim Carpenter, who co-founded uh, Progressive Democrats of America, pdamerica.org, right. and, uh, and, and has done a lot of other things in his life, really great stuff. But anyhow, he sent me an, an email a couple days ago, uh, just or yesterday actually, commenting that it seems that the convention itself is moving the party in a more progressive direction. That the, that the message and the speakers at the convention, and the, and the platform for that matter, are, are, are having that effect on, you know, on, on members of the Democratic Party. Um, is that your sense? I absolutely agree with that. You know, um, from the, the, the party, um, fr you know, from the platform at our, our convention, you're hearing an embrace of the term Obamacare and a robust, um, not just defense, but excitement over what it what it really means. I loved when um, Kathleen Sebelius said, "There's only one thing missing from the Ryan and Romney Medicare plan, and that's Medicare." Yeah, <laughs> you know, because right. uh, it really does destroy it as uh, as we know it. And uh, and and then this amazing, um, uh, jo joyful. Uh, explanation of of what Obamacare really is going to mean for ordinary Americans. Actually, uh, tearful almost because that young mom saying, "What if they repeal it um, for my little child who has this congenital heart disease? I'll I'll be stuck with lifetime caps yeah. and not get that." You know, so just one one issue after another. The uh, the. Uh, underscoring how we believe in making it in America, and how uh, Romney is about is the uh, outsourcer in chief or the pioneer in outsourcing. I just think the contrast that's been made, but not in a ne not in a negative and mean and bitter spirit, the kind of thing I heard in uh, in Tampa. I, mm. I went to Tampa, yeah. but but really in in a sense in in a in a positive and exuberant way. Yeah. That's marvelous. Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, uh, representing Illinois' 9th District, schakowsky.house.gov. Congresswoman, thank you so much for being with us today. It's always a pleasure. Thanks so much, Tom. Keep up the great work, please. Thank you.